Setting up your audio in OBS is arguably one of the hardest things to get right when it comes to streaming. Often we find our mic being too loud or too quiet, the game sound is overpowering our voice, or we've just got annoying friends in Discord that are always shouting. So in this video, I'm gonna break down how to set up your audio for your mic, game sound, Discord, music, web browser, and alerts, so you can have the perfect balance of audio on your stream. So I'm gonna assume that you've already set up your audio input and output devices in OBS, and now we're gonna work on tuning the volume for each. So first we're gonna to wanna to look at the mic. So we're gonna go on filters, and we're going to first want to add a gain. So as you can see where my mic is, it's kind of hitting around minus 15, but I really like it to be kind of a little bit in the red around between minus 10 and minus five. So I'm just gonna increase the gain a little bit, until that my average is kind of hitting just into the red there, which actually doesn't matter. A lot of people say that you don't want to hit the red, but it doesn't matter as long as we're just not clipping. So I would say that's pretty good now. The next thing we're going to want to add is noise suppression. And there are a few options here. You can either use this one, but it's pretty low quality, or this RN noise one is pretty good. I would recommend that. Or if you've got a NVIDIA graphics card, I think 20 series and above, you can download some of their noise suppression tools and use that. And to just further add to that, when you do get like an adjustment slider, the more suppression that you add, the kind of more unnatural your voice is going to sound. So you want to find a balance between kind of removing that background noise, but also trying to kind of keep the natural sound of your voice. And again, this will take testing. The next thing we're going to want to add is the EQ. This is going to kind of tune how your voice sounds. OBS actually comes with a basic three band equalizer, highs, mids and lows. However, if you want something a bit more advanced, you can download the Reaper plugin, which is going to give you a parametric equalizer. And this just gives you a few more options here to tweak. Um, but this is kind of different for everybody based on their voice and their mic. And there isn't really kind of a one size fits all model. So the best thing to do here is to just play around with it, just to record, to test. Um, at different dbs the lows mids and highs to see what sounds good for you you might prefer a bit more bass to your voice or you might prefer the high so yeah you're going to have to just play around with this the next thing we're going to want to add is a compressor it's going to make you sound even and smooth by reducing the dynamic range at the top to kind of stop you from being too loud so i'm going to set the ratio for this uh, to three this is basically how much the compressor is going to crunch the audio once it goes over the threshold threshold i'm going to keep at minus 18 and then as you can see when i speak it's just reduced it a little bit compared to earlier when we didn't have a compressor on the microphone i want to reduce the attack to three milliseconds and then the release is going to go to around about 100 so as you can see now where i speak the average is at around minus 10 db just below that and then the final thing that you're going to want to add is a limiter this is basically going to stop you from peaking and going above zero db you want to put the threshold for this one at about two here this is basically going to stop any of the peaks going above two and uh, stop you from clipping on stream and so yeah that's all set up for the microphone you might just have to play around with a few settings but if you take those ones that i've given you as kind of a, a baseline then you can go from there just one final thing to add is that when you do add the filters you want to make sure that they are in the order that I have shown because they work from top to bottom. They don't all just work together. So yeah, you want to make sure you've got a gain, noise suppression, EQ, compressor, and then finally limiter. Second thing we're going to want to look at is game audio. For this, we're going to want to add gain, upward compressor, compressor, and a limiter. The reason why we're going to want to add a gain first is to either increase it or reduce it. So the average volume is kind of again sitting around minus 10 to minus 5. So just to show you what my game is like without any of these filters applied, it's going to show you what the volume's like. So if we go into my game here, you can see that it's just constantly in the loud. That's just obviously way too loud. So I'm going to need to make some adjustments. So like I said, if I just make some adjustments to the gain on its own, put it down to minus 10, go back into the game. I can see there that the game sound there is hitting around minus 10. I could probably turn it up a little bit, but yeah, I'm happy with that. So next we're going to add the compressor. So for the game sound, you ideally want the volume to be hitting around minus 20 to minus 25. I like mine at just above minus 25. And so when I set the ratio to four to one and set the threshold to around 30, attack three milliseconds, release 100, this is what I get. So as you can see now, that kind of average volume there when I'm shooting is coming close to minus 20 i might just reduce it a little bit there so you're just gonna have to play around this yourself so yeah i'll probably just reduce that to around actually minus 32 there and so now when i shoot uh, there you go it's it's, it's it's kind of in between minus 25 and, and minus 20 and that that's all good for me now next thing we're going to want to add is an upward compressor this is going to make 
the sounds that are the quieter sounds a little bit louder. So things like footsteps, things that, yeah, just a little bit more difficult to hear um, on stream. I'm gonna set the ratio to 0.5 to one. I'm gonna set the threshold to minus 45 here or there. I'm gonna set the attack to three milliseconds and the release to 100. You can have a play around with this. If you want it louder, you can get it louder by just basically changing the ratio, turning that all the way down, as you can see there. If I turn the ratio down, the game sound goes up. If I turn the ratio up, it goes down, but not by too much, only a little bit. So I just kind of keep it in the middle there. You don't have to have this on and it's all personal preference. And then finally, you want to set the limiter. You also don't have to set this, but this is just a kind of a precautionary that I would set. I would put this at around minus 10 dB. So this is just going to stop anything from going above that because the way that this works is it, is it 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 works like the compressor but basically the ratio is like infinite like it's just going to just crush it super quick which is why you don't really want to use this like we are doing with the compressor because it will just kind of make it sound bad so this is going to stop anything just like that's peaking above 10 and just prevent on the odd chance that we switch games and that game is just super super loud and you don't actually realize this will just protect you from that and so the next thing we want to move on to is discord chat so here we are gonna want to add a uh, gain compressor and limiter again gain only adjust this if you feel like you need to make the people in discord chat louder or you can just do that in discord yourself and we're going to want to look at the compressor so ideally you want your discord chat to be around 15 to 20 db and so as we saw with the game on on similar settings when you set the threshold, it kind of starts to average out at about seven or eight dBs higher than it. So if I want the Discord chat to be around 15 to 20, I probably would set this to around somewhere between 20 and 25. So I'm just going to set that at 23 with the expectation then the Discord sound to be around minus 17, 18 dB. Set the attack to three release to 100 output gain zero and then again just using that limiter as a final protection and we will set that to yeah minus 10 minus 9 doesn't really matter just just somewhere around where our mic is and then the next thing we're going to want to look at is music so for music we're just going to have a compressor and limiter music is a little bit of a different one because music is something that you're probably going to be constantly changing on stream depending on whether you want it as background music or hype music so for this one, I would just set a compressor just to protect uh, the music from ever getting too loud on stream, like over your mic. So if the mic's hitting around minus 10, minus nine, I'm probably gonna set this at around minus 17, just so that if I have the music on full whack, it's probably not gonna go above minus nine, minus 10. Again, ratio four, attack three, release can be around 100 output gain zero um, and then again limiter just there as a protection at minus nine and so then just to show you if I play some music and I actually turn that up full whack so as you can see there it's starting to be compressed at around minus 17 minus 18 and it's not going above minus 10 but again that's only if I've got it on full whack if I just want it as background music, I'm probably just going to have it hitting probably around minus 40, minus 45. Next thing I want to look at is desktop. Again, I'm just going to add gain, compressor and limiter. You can use the gain to turn things up, but you might just do that on the web browser yourself if you're using like YouTube compressor. So for the web browser, again, if I'm watching something like YouTube, I probably want that to be quite high. I probably want that to be somewhere between, yeah, around, around minus 15 dB. Um, so again, ratio four, I'll probably set the threshold to around 23 here, tack three, release 100. So if I just play something on YouTube, this is turned up kind of max volume on I'm YouTube. I'm saying that these you can don't see there, that's kind of I'm just saying nicely peaking at around minus 15. Perfect. But again, it all depends on what you're watching and what you're doing. I would imagine that if you're doing watch alongs or stuff like that, you're probably not going to be speaking. So you do want the volume to be quite high. And then finally, uh, we're just going to look at alert again gonna have a gain compressor and limiter compressor again same thing four to one ratio alerts I personally want my alerts gonna be around like minus 20 db minus 25 depends what sort of alerts you've got and how annoying they are so I would probably set my threshold to around 27 28 so that the average volume is going to be around minus 20 and then finally yeah we just want to set the limiter again as before just a protection and so yeah there we go that's it um, and as I said throughout the video kind of depending on your system your mic your setup your settings might need to be 
tweaked a little bit but in my opinion if you go from there as a starting point for all of your audio sources they should really give you a good foundation for having balanced audio on stream they definitely will protect anything from going too loud um, based off your microphone your microphone is the most important thing and that volume it takes precedent over everything so like i said if you play a new game or you go into a new discord chat or you watch a super loud video on youtube you know that having everything in place like that is always going to protect your mic uh, in terms of that being the loud and yeah you only just want to watch out for things being a bit too quiet and if that happens either turn the gain up in obs or turn the gain up in the audio source and so yeah if you have any questions drop them down below hit subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video and it was helpful but yeah other than that i uh, hope you have a nice day and enjoy the rest of your week take care goodbye